Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last we left off, um, we had turned in some gaffy sticks to the Circa office, and now I want to turn in everything that I've been hunting to the hunting office. <laughs> I did kill a dragon, yes. I have stuff to sell you. Oh, sorry. Um Yes, I have a regular weight plate as well. Okay. So I have that's Oh, sell list. That's his buy list. Um, so the weight plate that he's talking about is the one that we got from Sharina. Um, from her husband. Where's all my stuff? At the bottom, maybe? Or did I pass it? There they are. These are all the, all the skull plates that I've collected. I hit sell. That's Nope, I gotta do one at a time. I'm gonna click on this thing so I don't accidentally click too far. There we go. Wow, look at all the credits I have. That's awesome. I have more stuff. 500 credits. <laughs> um, I think that's it for now. I do wanna, yeah. Yeah, we're good. So yeah, I paid her more than what I got for it, but that's fine. She needed the help anyway. I thought he might buy the dragon pearl, but apparently I gave that to the sand people. I don't know. I still don't know where Izzy is. Does this tell me? Jawas held captive. We're very glad and have promised that their leads will reward you when you return to the gates inside Anchorhead. I didn't... Oh, I'll check it. I'll check it later. I will check it later. Mission? Is it really you? She's I heard Taurus there. was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. What? It's important. I ran into Lena. She she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Oh, well, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus, sis, just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. You, you, you <laughs> may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years after deserting me on Terrace? That and, uh, you look good, sis. Yeah. <laughs> like you're doing well. Uh, financially, I mean. Uh, say. You think you could spare me a few credits to get back on my feet, do you? I'm... You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. Uh, I don't think so. Why are you in your underwear? And I've got the jitters, apparently. Uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. I'm sure. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Forget it. Huh. I, uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zerka supply shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. 
You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me and greet a shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. Why do I have the jitters? That was just weird. And just awkward. Okay. Let's, let's go see what Griff has got going on. And see if we can find this Izzy character. Uh, I think that guy's gonna regret giving him a job. Whose shop are we? I don't even know. This is the hunting lodge, so not a. Sh I don't. I don't really know. Where am I supposed to find Griff? Circus Supply Shop. Not the hunting lodge. This one? There he is. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Mission didn't come with you, I see. Oh, guess she's still mad at me. Oh well, it, it's probably for the best. Uh, this job is more up your alley anyway. What's the job? As you may know, tack glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. So you want to open a bar? I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch, and now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Sorry, like I said before, I don't have any credits on me, and Greta won't lend me any. I mean, it's like he doesn't trust me to pay him back or something. Hmm. But you come through on this, and I promise you'll get a huge payday down the road. Two... Th no. Three thousand credits. How's that sound? I don't trust you, but we'll try it. Yeah, I knew you'd come through for me. You won't regret this. You'll see. Uh, just... just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. I kind of told him I already had the stuff, so if he shows up and I'm empty-handed, well, let's just say I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. <sighs> I gotta do the quest, even though oh, we're just gonna leave, and I don't need to think about it right now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, got to find this Izzy character that's supposed to talk to us about the Jawas. There's Izzy. I bet you that's Izzy right right there. Izzy! Izzy! Not Izzy. Izzy! Um, thank you. What? We'll remember you when you're gone. Okay. I thought he might, like, trade with him, but he just gives me a reward. Alright, what do we have left to do here? Uh, oh, yes. The only one that I haven't completed is Nico. And I do not have the persuade that I... Uh... Is this it? No, this is the cantina. Uh, let's get this quest over. As much as I don't like it. We might be okay. Don't really know. I did try to level up. 
Uh, let's see. How okay. Rundi out. Talk about Nico. Labuga. You should give him a better deal. Labuga. Rundi out. I want you to give Nico a better deal. Labuga. Yes. Winkies matoma. Yinkin slimo podona mulera chikun. Nova rundi hautonga tong kimba nang kong kek. Wana kumbes chimpa yamul kun hunkabi. Rundi hautonga tong kimba nang kong kek. Wana kumbes la boda na rinkies mato. <laughs> he said, fine, I'll give him a better deal, but I'm not paying you, which is really funny. Okay, I wasn't able to update my persuade points, but I did upgrade my force persuade, so I think that's what uh, did it finally. You again? I don't really feel like talking right now. I have good news, you will like it. I suppose you've got a right to no track business. I convinced Moda to give you a better contract. You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. When do you think you'll be leaving? Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks again. I meant it. Yay! Yay! I'm very happy now. Ah, oh, that, that makes me happy. Okay, so we are done with this planet. So I'm going to head back to the Even Hawk and uh, talk with some companions. And then we'll get out of here. Let's chat with Candorous since he's the first person we see. Yeah, what do you want? You are always so moody. Do you have any more war stories? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. What was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. <laughs> I didn't think Mandalorians got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. You dropped from orbit riding a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80 kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. <laughs> That's horrible. That was some fight. What a bassless war droid. I'll never forget those times, but things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. I wonder But I why. really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? I'm good. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. 
see if he has anything else to say. Yeah, what do you want? Um, have you seen all these Gizka? I'm sure you must have. So deal with it. Why are you asking me about it? <laughs> he doesn't care, okay. Yeah, what do you want? Um, anything else to tell me? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Not really. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. What do you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. Why? The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it, something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Huh. Maybe, but maybe not. <laughs> it started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. A ship? We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? No, I'm good. Your choice. Huh. I have a purple lightsaber now. And it's awesome. Very exciting. Let's try Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Um, we didn't end our last discussion very well. Well, I, um, uh, I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh, more than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle Over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these, these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just, I, I feel a bit useless. I, I, mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. Maybe if you pull yourself together, it won't be so useless. Um, why don't you return to the front lines then? Because this is more important. This may really finally make a difference. I, I suppose even if I can't figure out everything that's going on, I still want to help if I can. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you should work for it a bit. Oh. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like the sound of that. <laughs> uh, do you want me to accept your apology? I don't know. What am I going to have to do for it? Hmm. How about a kiss? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I I really think that we should uh uh just get going. Oh. Um. No kiss then. I'm sorry. I'm glad things are better between us now. But we should we, we should go. 
Wow, I made that awkward. Um, okay. Um, I'm out of time for this installment, so I'll, we'll continue next time.